Hi, I'm Despina Nicola from Dear to Begin Life Coaching. And today I want to look at addictions and how we can manage them. And I want to give you a personal experience of mine. And it's of a friend of mine who asked for my help. She is one of my, well, she is my closest friend. And she asked for help with her addiction with the casino. And so I decided to go with her to the casino. And so we could do some therapy there. And it's funny, but when you do ask for help, the help comes in really weird places. But you just have to have your mind and your ears and your eyes and everything open and you will find the answer. And it actually came for us in a song that was playing. And the song was Hotel California. And so I just want to go through each paragraph of the song and and we actually analyzed it because the song was playing and it was like an invitation while we were sitting having a glass of wine to analyze the song and analyze what it meant with the addiction. And so here it goes. It says, on a dark desert highway, cool wind in my hair, the warm smell of Kalitas rising up through the air. Up ahead in the distance, I saw a shimmering light. My head grew heavy and my sight grew dim. I had to stop for the night. And so here comes our analysis. Feeling alone, bored and tired, I needed somewhere or something to give me comfort from my monotonous existence. The devil found a way to entice me. He used flashing lights to show me the way. Without thinking, my head became heavy and I and grew dim, and he promised me companionship. And that's when we're feeling alone, tired, and we need somebody or we feel frustrated. There's always that temptation, no matter what it is, alcohol, gambling, sex, porn, um, internet, anything. So, the next one. There she stood in the doorway. I heard the mission bell. And I was thinking to myself, this could be heaven or this could be hell. And so in this part, you've got the casino standing with its flash neon lights. And she is the, she, which is the casino, is the, she's there to magnetize you. You've got these doormen and these beautiful women sitting with their ties and suits and short skirts and looking so like royalty. You've got a gorgeous people smiling. You've got the royalty card. You've got cigarettes, alcohol, whatever. You've got the dim delights and you've got the complimentary drinks and, and valet parking. And and you can spend um you can you don't have to spend on food many times you're feeling hungry you can hear the noise from the casino uh, from the um you've got the noise from the machines they're luring you in and telling you your your um your wishes will be met here okay then she lit up a candle and she showed me the way there were voices down the corridor i thought i heard them say Welcome to the Hotel California, such a lovely place, such a lovely place. There's plenty of room at the Hotel California, any time of year, you can find me here. Sorry, you guys, I couldn't be bothered reading it. And so everyone is craftily leading you in, okay, and there's special delights. There's a way to the machines they're showing you, they're lit up. There's music coming out of them. They're luring you seductively. And out of the machine, you can hear like all of your money issues will be resolved because there's that hope that you will gain from that machine. It will solve your your problem. And you're idolizing the machines. And then the machines are your salvation. And they will accommodate you when you're tired, when you're lonely, when you're frustrated, when you've got money issues. They're there 24-7 to look after you. And then 
then you question, are you in heaven or are you in hell? That's the sort of thing. So her mind is tif Tiffany twisted. She got a Mercedes Benz. She got a lot of pretty, pretty boys that she calls friends. Okay, how the dance in the courtyard, sweet summer sweat. Some dance to remember, some dance to forget. Okay, so here you've been caught by the luring, by the narcissistic behavior of the machines. Now the devil has got you in his den. Gambling has won in your addiction. And it's become powerful. It's slavering you. And it's it's and now you start to serve the devil. You start feeding her your money. And then you've got that sweat, that anticipation, that anxiety, and then the regret. Because out of this ritual of just giving yourself to the machines, you are losing your identity, your dignity, your money, your family, your security, all for the love of this devil or machine or whatever you want to call it. Okay, so she called up the captain, please bring me my wine. And he said, we haven't had the spirits since here since 1969. And that still there were voices were calling far, from far away, wake you up in the middle of the night just to hear you say. And so what happens is once they've gained somebody into the casino and you become a loyal member, well, then they're going to start treating you like loyalty. And so you have foregone your responsibilities of family, um, of whatever, of work and everything, because your mind, your mind is on the machines and when you're going to play. And so, um, and so what happens is that obsession will wake you up in the middle of the night and welcome you back. And you might be driving across town at one, two in the morning to go to a casino. And then, okay, so welcome to the Hotel California. Such a lovely place, such a lovely place. We're living it up at the Hotel California. What a nice surprise. Bring your alibis, mirrors on the ceiling. Pink champagne on ice. She said, we are just prisoners here of our own device. Okay, in the master's chambers, they gathered for the feast. They steal, they stab it with the steely knives, but they just can't kill the beast. Addiction. And so the machines, they're taking everything. They've taken your integrity, your dignity, your money, your family, your friends, your soul, your you're in nothing, okay? And so they've used up all your alibis and you're just alone, okay? So no matter how much you confront the addiction, you're a wreck. It's engulfed you. It's totally engulfed you. Um, and and it will, it, it's got you there in its den. So it says here, last thing I remember, I was running for the door. I had to find the passage back to the place I was before. Relax, said the night man, because I've got you. We are programmed to receive. You can check out any time you like, but you can never leave. Okay. Now, sometimes you become conscious of how far you've gone into this. Okay. And you realize I am in deep and I can't stop obsessing about it. I'm in trouble. Um, and so you try to run from it. You try to seek help. Um, and but it will always, the addiction will always want you back. And so it's a matter of taking control of yourself, taking the responsibility and not letting your mind, as which is where the devil is, to talk you in to going back there. You have to be stronger than the chatter in your mind. Okay. So, um, and so it's a matter of using the stop technique. So you stop, you pause. So stop meaning stop. Okay, take a breath. You look at yourself, you look at where your life is going. Do you want to go and lose yourself in that place? Okay, you observe the place in your mind, 
you see the casino, you see it taking your money and destroying us. And then you change your perception, the P, and you keep practicing changing that. And any addiction can be overcome. But it's a matter of really being strong and using techniques like the stop technique, the five second rule, a whole lot of techniques to get over it. I hope you've enjoyed this. It's a little bit different than usual. Have a lovely um, day or evening or wherever you are. Just very quickly, we have got the most amazing group. It's called Dare to Begin Life Coaching in Facebook. Come by and we would love to have you on board. Bye.